Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the e-commerce series using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with the coupon feature for the e-commerce. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So, let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and let's format the template for us to look good. We have this form, which is for the coupon, which pretty much is this one here. I want you to add a CSRF token to it. CSRF token, there you go. And in the input field, I want you to add the name of code and also the button should have a type of submit. All good. Now, I want you to open up the models core and in the models core, all we pretty much need to do now is create a new field, a new model, not field for coupon. So scroll all the way to the bottom and create a new class called coupon. And for this one, it should take models.model and we should pretty much pass in code should be equal to models.char field and max underscore length should be equal to let's just go with 10 or let me go with 50 for now it's up to you how how much you want to add in there and also for the discount this should be equal to models.integer field and for this one it should just be default should be zero i think that's let's just say one okay and finally the active status of the coupon should be models dot boolean field and you could add the default so default should be true for the coupon all right that is pretty much it now let's read on the stream representation of this model so i'll say str then passing self and we pretty much want to return self dot code all right so that we have the code coming out coming in there so as simple as that we are done let's register this in the admin um make sure to import coupon somewhere here at the top and register it all right so after registering it then we need to run make migrations migrate and run server so migrate is running and now run server is running all right, so when all that are done, if you open up this and reload this page, you can now see a new coupon model showing up here. So now let's set up a new coupon. I will call this one code one, and I'll say it should be, let me say 25% off, and I'll save this new coupon. So users can now use this coupon. You can give it to users or display it on your social media and you know, things like that. So now let's actually make this coupon work when the user type it in here. We need to perform some operation like checking if the coupon is still valid, if the coupon is active, if, if the coupon exists, if the coupon matches the one in the database, how many discounts that it's given. Then we'll perform calculations to remove the discounts from the total and, you know, things like that. So um, what we need to do is pretty much scroll down to the checkout session again or to the checkout view. And we firstly need to check if request.method is equal to post which is the method of the form for the coupon if it's equal to post then let's grab the code so code will be request dot post dot get and it was called code i hope i've explained this in the previous video and you can start off by printing code to actually see what we are getting so i could say code and i'm trying to print code to see what we have so when your server reloads, you could get back here and put in a coupon, let's say code one and apply and CSRF error. After adding a CSRF token, did we refresh this page? I think so. I think so not, we didn't refresh this page. All right, so over here, I add one, code one and save this. Now, does it print the code? Does it print it in our, there you go, see, it's printed it. So now we can successfully grab whatever coupon that gets typed in here. So after grabbing the coupon, the best thing to do is filter that coupon based on any coupon that exists in the server, right? Or in the admin. So what we now need to say is coupon should be equal to coupon. It's not imported yet, so let's import it. You could, you could do that using quick fix and see it's imported. Dot object dot then filter by code should be code and the active status of the coupon should be true 
and let's grab the very first item that we are filtering. So after we have all this now, if coupon actually does exist, then what do we want to say? Before we do this, I missed one field that I wanted to add in here. So add a new field called coupons. That is in the cart order, okay? And this should be models the many to many field. And they should pretty much take core dot coupon dot coupon and you can add a blank should be true null should be true does not work on many to many fields so you could don't stress yourself adding that in after adding in this new field run your make migrations migrate and run server okay and now we have this field coupons here back to the views py if coupons exist what you want to firstly check is if this coupon is already in order dot coupons dot all so what does this mean this is pretty much a security mechanism to check if this coupon has pretty much been applied as soon as we apply a new coupon we will immediately add in that new coupon to an order we will associate it with the order where we activated the coupon on in our case we'll add it over here so if code one exists here we will show an error that says coupon already activated if code one doesn't exist in this order, we activate the coupon for this order, then add code one here so that the user cannot reactivate it again multiple times. So if it exists, then what do you want to say? You could say give a message dot one in and pass in a request. And you could say something like coupon already activated. Okay, coupon already activated. Messages dot one in, that's what it should be. And I want you to return redirect back to core checkout order dot oid. But what if the coupon doesn't exist? So I'll pass in an F statement over here. And if the coupon doesn't exist, let me send the same message. I will say coupon activated. Coupon activated. All right, so let's test this out and see how it works after our server gets reloaded. So I'm refreshing this page. And right now, let me add a coupon that doesn't exist. I'll say code 111 and apply. Um, oh, there's a problem there. This should be active, not active. Hopefully you saw that before me. So now when you rerun this code again, Let's see. I will add in code 111 and I will apply. Mm, it seems not to be showing. If coupon in order dot coupon or all, this should be messages dot success. Are you sure that we have messages coming in here? Please hold on. Let me quickly look into this. Do we have for M? Yep, we have for M in messages. We have the alert. So why are we not seeing the message? Message is supposed to show up. Um, back to the views. Let me see if we are importing messages from Django.country. There you go. We are importing messages. Mm. Scroll back to the checkout view. So if coupon, we show this message. Let me firstly try just log just log in any message over here as soon as we visit the page to see what we have. See, coupon already activated. So message seems to be working here. But why isn't message working in here? So let me see if this code is actually correct. If coupon, which is this one, in this one, then we show this. Oh, oh, this is the problem, guys. If coupon, what if coupon does not exist? Because we are trying to add in a coupon that doesn't exist, right? Then let's show an error that says coupon doesn't exist. So over here, I'll say else and passing a message coupon does not exist okay so after passing all this in like this then let's get back here and try adding a coupon that doesn't exist just add any gibberish there 
See, coupon does not exist, but please make this to be an error so that we can actually see the error message show up there. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try this out again. Add in gibberish. And there you go, coupon doesn't exist. All working now. So now if you add a coupon that, that does exist, which is code one and apply, you see coupon activated. So that's working. Now that we have all this base logic sets in place, let's go ahead and calculate how to remove all the total and perform all the operations. So um, what if coupon exists? What do we want to do? Instead of just showing a message that says coupon activated, we want to perform some more operations here. So, you know, it works nice as expected. I'll firstly get the discount. So I'll say discount should be equal to, and this is how you calculate percentage. Or this is how you pretty much convert percentage to a whole number that we can actually use. So order dot price multiplied by the coupon dot discount all divided by 100. So the item price multiplied by the discount divided by 100 will give you the discount. So we can also firstly add the coupon so the user does not have to activate it more than once. So order.coupons.add, and we are adding that new coupon that the user just tried activating. Let's now remove the discount from the total price. So this should be minus equals discount. So the order total price should be minus equals discount, which pretty much means order total price should be equal to the total price minus the discount. And after that has been added, you can also say order dot saved should be plus plus equals discount so that we add how much the user saved in the saved field that save okay order dot saved we save the method take notes this is order dot saved okay please do not forget that do not miss that so that you don't have an issue so now when we have all this you can now show coupon activated successfully and if coupon doesn't exist you show coupon doesn't exist and if coupon has already been activated, we show coupon already activated. So guys, let's look at this and see how it works. I will reload the page and let's add a coupon that does exist and hit apply. Take note, the discount right now is 0, 0.00. As soon as we apply this, can you see? It still gave you 25% from it, I believe, which is what we added in the coupons. Hold on, let me quickly check back. Yeah, there you go. See, it took away 25% from it and added, added it to the discount and minus that amount from our total amount here. So that was pretty much it. Our coupon is not working as expected. If you're looking to set up a real e-commerce store for your startup or for your business, then send a message to deskfix at gmail.com and we'll discuss how to get you a real e-commerce website. That was pretty much it. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, mad love. Peace out.